welcome back to my channel i have a new eyeshadow tutorial for you ladies this one is a wearable everyday coral spring eyeshadow tutorial it's very easy what i already did was um i already applied my peony paint pot by mac all over my eyelids so yeah and i'm gonna zoom in and we're gonna begin with the tutorial okay so i'm zoomed in in my eye <laughs> it's funny and we are going to start um, applying the first eyeshadow and I'm just going to use a flat brush this one is by MAC it's the 227 and I'm going to go in with brulee which is this one right here and I'm just going to grab enough eyeshadow can you tell? yeah and it's just going to set my painterly because that's what I want to do and I'm gonna place this eyeshadow all over my eyelid from the lid to the brow bone okay so I'm just gonna use Fluff by MAC and I'm gonna apply a little bit on my eyelid right here but not too much and I'm just gonna use uh, this flat brush <laughs> it's the 239 by MAC yeah but you can use any flat brush uh, that you may have so I'm just gonna Go in there and I'm just gonna grab enough eyeshadow and then for floof I do recommend that you remove a little bit of the eyeshadow like at the back of your hand like a little bit okay and then I'm just gonna place that on my eyelid like so okay right there not too much <laughs> just just a little bit not too much okay because we want to make sure this is um a soft look not a harsh look <laughs> uh, yeah we don't want to make our shadow harsh so then um i'm just going to use my 286 it's just a blending fluffy brush by mac you can use any um, blending brush that you may have. And now I'm going to move on towards <laughs> the Lorac palette. This one is the Afterglow. This is the only coral eyeshadow that I have. I don't have another coral eyeshadow. I know MAC uh, makes Paradisco, but I don't have that one. So I'm using this one. So then I'm just going to get um, the coral eyeshadow right here from the Lorac Afterglow with my blending brush. Tap off the excess that I have. And then I'm just going to place it on my crease and making sure that you're watching. Yeah. And you can definitely either apply a little bit or as much as you want of this coral eyeshadow. So it all depends what you want to do with it. Okay. But for me, I'm just going to apply a little bit more because I want to make sure, um, you know, it's going to show up. Uh, especially when you take pictures, you know. Because when you apply makeup and then you take a picture, like 50% of it is gone. And you're like, what happened to the makeup? So there you go. Like so. And then I'm just going to use a blending brush. This one is a clean blending brush at 224. And I'm going to go in with soft brown. Which is this one right there. And I'm just going to blend my eyeshadow. And where I'm going to place this eyeshadow is on top of that coral eyeshadow from Lorac and on the bottom. Okay? So there you go. Like top and on the bottom. I'm gonna get another blending brush, a clean one, another clean one, because I just um, recently cleaned my makeup brushes. I don't know if you noticed in all my eyeshadow tutorials, my brushes are clean. I'm just gonna use the 286 by MAC, and I'm gonna go in with Expensive Pink, right here, just this one. And 
I'm just going to apply it on my crease, okay? Just make more dye, shadow more dimensional. That's what I'm doing. And I'm not going to apply too much, just a little bit, like so. So then after that, I'm just going to go in with my flat brush, the 227, again. And again, I'm going to go in with brulee. Put my highlight and clean my edges. So, uh, this one is the Milani Liquid Eye Liquid Eyeliner Pencil, and it's it's a brown eyeliner. Okay, I'm just gonna apply my liquid eyeliner right now. It's the lower level, the super slim. So I start from the back and then I move to the front. And there you go. So I made it very thin. It's one of the thinnest ones I ever made. Ah. And then I'm just gonna curl my lashes and apply mascara. Okay. And the mascara I'm using is just this one from Makeup Forever. It's the Smoky Extravagant. Yeah. Okay, so there you go. Okay, so. There it is. There's the eye. That's how it looks. I'm gonna look down. So I'm gonna continue doing the second eye, and then I'll be back. Okay. So I'm done doing my second eye, as you can tell, and I'm gonna get up close. And I'm also going to leave a picture at the end. Okay. So let's move on forward to the blush and the highlight now. I would recommend that you do go to either Milani's website, like milanicosmetics.com, or you can go to CVS at the store. That's where I bought this blush, and it's part of the permanent line now, so you can definitely find it. Um, hopefully you can, because sometimes they get sold out, but they always replenish. But this one is uh, Milani's Coral Cove Powder Blush, and it's just a coral blush, yeah. Hey, it matches my, my blouse. <laughs> So I'm just gonna get this um, blush brush from the Real Technique, Real Techniques, yeah. And I'm just gonna get right there, <laughs> and it's very you see that that's yeah. So that's a lot. So we're gonna remove a little bit of that. Okay. And the way I like to apply my blush is starting from the back towards the front. Oh, I'm gonna apply a little bit more because I don't think you can tell. Okay, so, and if it's too much, what you do is you grab from the powder, and then you put it on the back of your hand, and you can remove some of it, you see that? And then you just apply it right there. And you just want to have a little bit, not too much. <laughs> and if in case it was too much blush, then you go in with powder brush, a powder brush, and you just remove some of that out, if you wanted to, and blend it into your skin, okay? So then, I'm just going to use a highlight. And the highlight I'm going to use, um, it doesn't come like this. <laughs> it came in a different packaging. It came out a long time ago. This one is Shell Pearl um, from MAC. It's a beauty powder, but it came out a long time ago. Um, if I can find it, I think it should be on eBay. Pretty um, coral. I would say I would use it more like a highlight, but you can definitely get away with using it both as a blush and highlight. But for me, I want to use it as a highlight. Just like a pretty subtle highlight. Do you see it right there? I think you can. See it right there? Oh, it's pretty. It's really nice. For my lips, I already applied the Carmex. That's done. <laughs> and then I'm just going to apply the Maybelline Lip Liner in Toast. And hold on. Right there. Okay, so then after that, I'm just gonna use the L'Oreal lipstick in Ferris Nude. But I'm gonna do something, watch. Like so, just one layer. Not too much. And then after that, ha. Huh, because I don't have a coral lipstick, but I do have a coral lip gloss. Well, actually, no, that's a lie. I do have a coral lipstick from MAC, but it's not, not for this look. We're not, we're not going for a, a summer look. We're going for a very elegant, neutral, 
wearable look. We're not going for that. So I'm just going to use um, the Revlon lip gloss. This one is in Coral Reef. Um, if I can find it again, I'll link it down below. But I'm pretty sure you can find this in their, their permanent line. Hopefully you can. Like a Rite Aid, I think, or CVS. So I'm just going to put it on the center of my lips. So it's like a nude coral, mm -hmm. but it's very wearable. So yeah, it's really nice. Okay, so then after that, my mascara is dry. Yeah. So I'm just gonna get this one. It's the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. Oh, okay. So I am done with this makeup tutorial. I hope you liked it. I hope it was. I don't know. It was fun to watch. <laughs> I know I haven't been on YouTube for a week and i apologize but i wasn't feeling well and then i was trying to figure out my lighting because i don't have again those soft boxes my lighting so i said well, well let me film earlier than i was filming last time and let me try to figure out how to i, I can see myself now better than before than my last two videos i was i was looking terrible I'm sorry and i apologize for that. <laughs> but there you go um my next video is going to be a tag video, and then after that, it's going to be a um, a review, <laughs> as promised, okay? So, there you go. I hope you're having a great day, and thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video, and of course, I'll leave you with the final look. Bye!